friends welcome to tech accessibility tutorials this is vaishnavi here so friends if you want my latest updates and videos just click on subscribe button then you will get all my latest updates and videos to your email directly so friends in this video i'm going to show you how to configure the settings of auto tts so what is auto tts and how does it is useful for us auto tts is a unique android application that automatically switches to the tts of the corresponding language and read out to you you can read multiple language with multiple text to speech engine you no need to switch tts again and again for reading different languages auto tts can be purchased from the play store for 996 rupees approximately 14 dollars and 65 cents so friends first of all in order to configure the settings of auto tts we should use another alternative tts like google text to speech engine or eloquence tts for the speech output Okay, let's open Auto DTS. I have already installed it, so I'm gonna open App Drawer. More apps. And Auto DTS. I have double tapped on Auto DTS, so it has opened. Here, you can be presented with three check boxes. None check box. Auto mode checked. None radio button. Disable auto language detection. So none check box is checked by default. If you want to stop auto language detection, you have to check this checkbox and gonna swipe right again. Not checked. Dual language radio button. Dual language checkbox. Word dash by dash word language recognition. Reads Latin words by English, others by user dash specified language. Okay, I'm gonna swipe right again. Not checked. Auto language detect radio button. So we need to check this checkbox auto language detect. So I'm gonna double tap on this auto language detect checkbox. Word not checked. Auto language detect radio. Okay, I have double tapped on it with one finger. So I'm gonna swipe right again. Call dash sentence auto language detect mode settings colon. So I'm gonna swipe right again. Select preferred language colon. Drop down list English. So my preferred language is English. So I leave it as it is. Go to voice settings button. So we need to double tap on this. Go to voice settings button. Drop. Go to voice settings button. Okay, I have double tapped on it, and it takes me to the next screen. Here I can be presented with two drop down list one is for selecting language and one is for selecting text to speech engine Choose an installed voice for each language recommendation call and assign one engine per language to avoid switching delay Yes we should assign only one TTS for one language to avoid switching delays so I'm going to swipe right again Select language colon Select language drop down list Afrikaans So the first drop down list is selecting language so we need to double tap on this drop down list so i'm going to select english so african is default so going to swipe up with two fingers unless i hear english bulgarian check is finish estonian esperanto english yes english we need to double tap on this english choose an select drop down list english yes english has been selected successfully now i'm going to swipe right again Choose a voice for above language colon. So now we need to select a voice or TTS for this English. Drop down list ETI dash eloquence free period TTS USA. Yes, eloquence is default. So if you want to assign any other TTS like Google TTS, we need to double tap on this drop down list. And here it will show you the installed TTS on your device. SBI, 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 GPR, RP, eSpeak, SBI, SBI, Google Free Period Engine, Oz, Google TTS. So I want only eloquence, so I leave it as it is. Okay, if you want to select any other TTS, just focus on it and double tap on it. Go to auto mode set, drop down list, ETI dash eloquence free period TTS, USA. So after selecting TTS, we need to double tap on test button. So, test button, yes. This is a sample of text spoken in English. Okay. The eloquence is reading it in English. So, you have successfully set eloquence for reading English. Now, we need to set secondary language. So, in this video, I will select Telugu as my secondary language. So, we need to focus on the first drop down list where we have selected English. Choose an installed voice. Select drop down list English. Now we have to double tap on this drop down list in order to select our secondary language. So I'm going to swipe up with two fingers unless I hear Telugu. Marathi, Adli, Ariya, Polish, Tamil, Swahili, Telugu. Yes. 
we need to double tap on this telugu or your preferred language so after selecting the secondary language we have to swipe right again to select tts choose a voice for above land drop down list sbi e speak so if you want to change e speak or any other tts which support your secondary language we need to double tap on this drop down list and select your preferred tts check sbi star disabled star disabled won't work so we should select only e speak here check sbi stop check sbi okay i have double tapped on e speak now going to swipe right auto tts drop down list sbi test button sorry sample text for language the loop is missing okay so if the sample is available it will read this is the sample text of so and so language and if the sample is not available it says sorry the sample is not available so now we have successfully set english with eloquence and e speak for reading telugu or your secondary language now we have to press back button and comes to her home screen now we have to open text to speech engine settings i'm going to activate global context menu by swiping down and right with one finger gesture top back settings and lip text to speech settings yes text to speech engine settings we have to double tap on this now it will show you the installed tts on your device auto tts and list auto tts we need to double tap on this auto tts and it will show you a dialog box vocalizer x eti auto tts okay auto tt vocalizer talk back is act pause button auto tt this speech synthesis engine may collect all speech including passwords credit card numbers and other personal data continue so we need to press okay button here cancel button okay button okay button okay i have double tapped on this okay button now we have successfully set auto tts our default tts now we can read multiple languages with multiple text to speech engine support without switching tts again and again so friends if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any suggestions and doubts write in the comments if you like this video share it with your friends on twitter google plus whatsapp and facebook thank you for watching pause button drop